Hi, I'm Jacqueline Lynn. You know you need images on your website and blog, as well as to enhance your social media efforts. FaithWorks Images for Impact solves the challenge of creating those images, also known as digital assets. But what about keeping track of them so you can find them quickly when you need them? Digital asset management systems can be expensive, and many have a steep learning curve. These products are generally not practical for a small business or solo operator who is managing a relatively small collection of files. If you want to manage your own image library, these three tips will help. 1. Set up folders by category. Don't just put everything in one folder. Instead, think about the types of images you'll be creating and organize subfolders under your main images folder. Some suggestions for folder names or categories are blog callouts, blog illustrations, Facebook inspirational quotes, Twitter inspirational quotes, product promotions. Do your best to anticipate the types of images you'll have so you can set up folders ahead of time. But remember, you can always add more folders later. Number two, name the files descriptively. My ebook, Create Your Own Custom Images, explains how to name your image files to make them identifiable to search engines as well as to your human audience, and to include an internal file identifier. You may want to include some keywords in the file name to make it easier for you to search by subject. If you update an image and don't delete the original, add a date or a version indicator in the file name so you don't accidentally use an outdated image. Number three. Tag the image files. To avoid creating file names that are too long and unwieldy, add tags to your images by editing the properties. You and the search engines can search on the tags. To add tags to a JPEG file, right-click on the image and go to Properties. Click on the Details tab. Under Description, you'll see Tags. Click on that and enter keywords or other identifiers. When you're finished, click OK. What techniques do you use to keep your photos and other images organized? Please share below or on our blog. Thanks for watching.